Okay, we're back at the prison. That's the banner of the Hieroglyph Knights, isn't it? Oh no, we're... What? Did they will not reach the prison? Is this like... Are we inside the base of the Hieroglyph Knights? Which makes this place, um... The Hieroglyph Knights HQ. Not a bad little surprise. HQ? Yeah, I... Wasn't expecting this. They're headquartered in the prison? Sure are. As for why an order of knights set up base in the prison beats me. Okay, so that really makes them super suspicious. And that makes me even, you know, it, it makes me think really even more that they are responsible for whatever the heck is happening. That they're, you know, really evil. They're the bad guys in this game. Can't blame you for finding it odd. Just about anyone would, I figure. Either way, we're here whether you like it or not. Let's say we take a stroll around. I don't think we really have the time for any casual strolls. Still, we should try to keep our heads down so we don't get caught. Yeah. This is like... You're really asking for trouble. Okay. How are we supposed to get past... These guys. Okay. I was just... Okay, I was trying to sneak past them. Are you just gonna fight them? Who goes there? Monstrums? How in blazes did you get in here? Oh, that's a secret. <laughs> I gotta answer to grunts like you. Yeah, that... I'm not... That's classified. I'm not of liberty to say. You're kidding, it's the Feral Hawk! And the Crimson King! And White Cat to boot! The hawk, you say? Perfect! This is our chance to avenge our fellow brethren. And get that sizable bonus. Mrs. Celestial Master grants us victory. Doubtful. Not so tough anymore, are ya? They weren't tough to begin with. Happened? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Take a nap. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like we're the bad guys here somehow. Why all of a sudden? They've been treating us that way since the start. That's mostly because of you, you know. Are you saying that Hawk is the reason why you guys ended up no notorious? Door appears to be locked. Oh. Do you hear that? Someone's, Someone's crying. crying. Oh, hello. Oh, what am I to do without it? I'm so scared if only Professor were here to save me. Professor? I knew I heard someone wailing their head off. Guess it must have been this chick. An inmate, she doesn't seem like a nasty criminal to me, but... Eep! Who goes there? You don't sound, li sound like any guards. I remember... What are you crying about? I was just minding my own business when suddenly I was arrested for being sketchy. What? Even worse, they, they confiscated something from me more precious than my own life. What could be more precious than your own life? They just stuffed it into that burlap, burlap sack and carried it away like it was nothing. Without it, I I just... just oh, what am I to do? You don't suppose she's one of those wrongful convictions Parks mentioned? She might be. You better not be thinking what I think you're thinking. You should help her out. My thoughts exactly. We can't just leave her like this. All we have to do is find this precious- That's not all you have to do! You should help her get out of there as well if she's wrongfully locked up like that. You know, if she's wrongfully convicted. If sh it shouldn't be too far away. Let's try searching around for it. Do whatever you want, but screw around too long and I'll make sure you get a nice sharp reminder in the back. Not really a team player, are you, Hawk? Don't even jock. J don't even jock. Don't even joke about that, Hawk. Quest made in a miss. Um, accepted. Um. Okay. Before we actually do the quest, is there anything I can pilfer around here? Nothing. Also, why are? Why is your back turned? 
Suspicious. Very suspicious. It's locked. How am I supposed to open that door? Oh. <laughs> Hello, knights. Huh? Who goes there? Nobody? It's the monstrums. Oh boy. That was quick. That was really quick. This? They really weren't expecting us to show up in their own headquarters, huh? How did you find out about that secret passage anyway, Hawk? Come on, spill it. Eh, I have my ways. Spill. Ain't here either, huh? Who are you looking for? What are you looking for? A key? Prison key, okay. <laughs> Which door do you open, little key? Maybe we can use it if we come across a locked door. Yeah, this locked door. And maybe even that prison cell. Use the prison key. You unlock the door. Okay. Here it is. It's a burlap sack. This must be what the maid girl was looking for. Sweet! If we destroy it now, we can forget about her and get what we came here for. <laughs> Hawk, we're trying to help her. What the heck? Don't even think about it, even if it's just a joke. Why does Hawk always have to be like this? Prisoner's effect acquired. Good question. Why is he acting that way? What is his story? Because I don't think that he's really like that. You know? Maybe circumstances forced him to turn that way? Excuse me, but this wouldn't happen to be yours, would it? You hand the girl in the maid dress her effects. Yes, this is it. This is the bag. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was starting to think I'd never get it back. Um, I don't know who you are or where you came from, but I can't thank you enough. <gasps> what? Don't like what you see? We're not bad people, honest, though I guess we are dressed the part. No, you actually dressed pretty cool in my opinion. No, it's not you, it's... Watch out behind you! What? Stay sharp, you two! I feel like she, this maid person, is gonna be a collaborator as well. I'm hoping. The hell? These guys are... Lemmies! Okay. That was quick. That was really quick. They came out of nowhere. <laughs> damn, damn cowards sneaking up on us like that. Thank goodness they're, they're gone. Are any of you hurt? Oh, you finally turned around. You three are incredible. I've never seen anything so amazing. Are you wearing a mask? Huh? Why are you wearing a mask? What's going on? Hey, what's with the, that mask? Where did it come from? Was that what was in the bag? Yes, I'm glad it didn't break. Well, n now I see why the knights thought you were suspicious. But where are my manners? You've helped me so much yet I haven't introduced myself. What the actual heck? My name is Silhouette. A pleasure to meet you. Silhouette? Is that really your name? Is that your real name? You have delivered my mask and exercised those terrible spirits. And you also can see the lemmies. I must find a way to repay you. I thought people can't see them. Ordinary people can't see them. Um, I feel like this is rude to ask, so thanks for having Thank our you. back. About that, it sounded like you were actually able to see the lemmies. Exactly! Lemmies, so that's what those wicked spirits are called. Yes, as a matter of fact, I can see them. Those horrible things have plagued my every waking moment all my life. What? What kind of luck do you have, lady? I'm not sure why, but putting on this mask make it, makes it so that I can... I can't see... Oh, okay. I, that's the reason it's so precious to me. I can't thank you enough for turning it. So she sort of like has 
like a third eye and that mass sort of blocks her ability to access said third eye? Well, I doubt she's lying. Hell, she noticed them before they even got the drop on me. I'm guessing that mass is what got you locked locked up in here though, huh? You guessed correctly, sir. What I Whenever I wear it, people call me creepy and say that I'm hiding something. Well, duh. Look at that mask. Though I wonder if that mask is some kind of sacramental. The Roman soldiers end up questioning me about it and well, I panicked. But I would have been a uh, I would have been even more of a wreck had I taken the mask off. The professor is always telling me not to be so afraid, but who is this professor you keep blabbing on about, lady? We should probably help her out of here, don't you think, Adel? I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if we just left her like this. And besides, who better to protect her from the lemmies than us monstrums, right? Exactly. She'll probably end up being a collaborator. You reintroduce yourself before asking Silhouette if she'd like to return with you to the Monstrum's hideout at the Dandelion. The Monstrum's have a hideout? I had no idea. But in that case, perhaps my luck is turning for the better for once. Please allow me to offer you my services at the bar. It's the least I can do. See? Welcome aboard, Silhouette. You're now a conspirator. Thank you for the opportunity. I have a lot to learn, but I'll give it all. It, but I'll give it my all. Adeline's comrades proceeded to break Silhouette out of her cell. They then instructed her to hide until they made the return. I thought they were gonna go back, you know, actually bring her to the dandelion and just backtrack to where they were before. You've gained a new ally, Silhouette. Silhouette will now assist you in the Grimwald Knox. Okay, what can you do, Silhouette? I'll be waiting here until everyone returns. After all, I simply have to repay you for saving and me and returning my mask. Oh, I'll have to tell Professor Valen that I'm okay too. Professor Valen? Why did it- what? Why did- why does the, that name sound familiar? Okay, below central wing. Oh. No, I'm not going up the lad. Okay, let's go up the ladder. There's nothing here. Hmm. Still no chests. <laughs> Found ya. I knew it. Oh my goodness. Is that the reason why you you want to challenge him, Hawk? There ain't a single soul in Balduk who doesn't know who he is. Founder and master of the Glean Hieroglyph Knights, Shadowlord. I think I now know or remember why uh, the doctor, uh, what, Sadhi was it? The name of the doctor from one of the side quests we did, or the request that we did, the one in the agricultural district about the water, the the monsters. It, uh, inside the well, I think it's because she reminds me of Shadowlord. Well then. Oh my goodness, I've Hawk! Been dying to see what you're really made of. You're gonna get your butt kicked. Is this what Hawk was after all along? I thought he was after someone who was like in prison. Do you know each other? <laughs> Is there some kind of backstory here? The feral hawk along with the white cat. And even the crimson king. Like how did they know that that's what Adol is called? You know, in this form that he is the crimson king who goes around telling them that, that that's his name. For getting here alive I give you 85 points. And what's with the grading system? Shadowlord. Dealing with monsters falls under the jurisdiction of Belger and the garrison. But now that you are trespassers, I am afraid I cannot allow you to leave. Something is really fishy about this guy. Even his he's, his uh, eyes. His eyes are so, like, weird. It's not common. Ugh. 
What have Hold you dragged right us there. into? Oh. This one's mine and mine alone. Please let this be like a cutscene battle. I don't want to fight uh. Chatelard right now. Come again. We're not you strong come enough to him. beat that right, him. Crimson King. Then stay back. I don't plan on sharing my prey with anyone else. Uh. <laughs> You don't you're, have any objections, do you're ya? really gonna get your ass kicked so hard, Hawk. Unless you'd prefer we go three on one, you can just fight them after defeating me first. Don't drag us into this! Yeah. Very well. What the frick? <laughs> Good choice. Oh my goodness. I'm Shadowlord, Master of the Glean Hieroglyph Knights, accept your challenge. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank goodness, we don't have to actually fight him. But dang, he's really fast. Like, it's impossible that he doesn't have some kind of power hidden within him. Maybe they're experimenting on something? I suggest you repent before God. Pray for your absolution. Screw praying. <laughs> Why pray? When you're already strong. Is it because you're a knight? Or because you learned that in Sunday school? Pray my ass. The only reason to pray is if you're still weak. What is your oh, beef, man? Maybe. Yes, what? Can he be what? I need this power. What is going on? <sighs> Can he be what? What was Shadowlard trying to say? See? Hawk, you got your ass kicked. That settles it. What the? <sighs> wow. He is what? No longer conscious. Okay. This reminds me of uh, who was that character in uh what is it? Kimetsu no Yaiba? The lightning dude, the one who he's really good at fighting when he's actually sleeping. Hmm. He's got he I will give you 90 points. Is he gonna let us go out of respect for what it was that Hawk did? Crimson King, take the Hawk and retreat for today. What is going on? Do you know something, Shadowlord? You demonstrated magnificent swordplay that was as relentless as it was resolute. However, it was devoid of purpose. Yeah. <laughs> you should use your power to fight for Glee. There may come a day yet when it will depend on you. What is going on with Shadowlord? I'm so confused. Who are you really? I am just a humble hieroglyph knight. I look forward to our next meeting. Crimson like King. your vibe is sort of ha you're like you have this like evil person vibe but at the same time what was that? Oh wait. He's a knight. The monstrum form went away. Wait, isn't he What? So does Chatelard know who he really is now? Did he figure it out? Is that what that was? Oh my goodness. Credo Eibling... Eiblinger? Eiblinger? That was the name of his identification card. I confirmed that he is no doubt a member of the Hydroglyph Knights. I can see where his frustration is coming from. Do you think Shadowlard knew the whole time? That there was a monster under his nose along? Hard to say. No, maybe during that fight. 
you know, when during the, his fight with Hawk, maybe that's when he realized, and maybe that was what he was going to say. I can only guess what kind of secrets the Master and Commander is keeping. Anyway, judging by that ruckus he started in the main square, this one's a loose cannon. Hmm, from how you describe him, he shares some similarities to the legendary Berserkers. Or is it that the legendary Berserkers, you know, what uh, Shadowlord figured out? Is that what he was trying to say? Are you a Berserker? Berserkers? In ancient times, they were divine warriors who raised the battlefield in a frenzied rage. He was definitely scarier this time than I'd ever seen him before, but... Um... It was like he was fighting an inner battle, or he fought within... He, he fought with his entire spirit. You're right, and there was something else I noticed. It was only for a brief moment, but he looked a bit sad somehow. Maybe he couldn't control it. There's more to him than meets the eye. That's always the case with people. You might be right about that. I don't think a knight like him would be very happy about us talking about him like this. Why don't you try asking around the Hieroglyph Church instead? That would be suspicious. You gotta point their parts. The knights and the church go way back. There could be someone there who might be able to tell us something about him. Okay, there's a cathedral in the central district. That's the Hieroglyph Church. Why don't we go there now, Adol? I feel like... What if it's the typical cliched story of, uh, you know, a hawk being an orphan and he was taking care of the church and he and Shadowlord are friends, are actually friends or rivals, but he couldn't beat um, Shadowlord, so he kind of wished for power? And let's give the nun, Sister Mel, the meal that we have. There you go. <laughs> it looks delicious. I hope you consider donating again when your circumstances allow. May the hieroglyphs bestow fortune upon ya. I don't know, I'm just guessing because that is the typical cliched shonen, you know, plot, usually. Usually, I'm not lumping Isu with a shonen manga or anime, but you know, it is a Japanese RPG. Talk to Ar Pri Archpriest Mirna. Excuse me? Yes, how may, may I be of service? You and Krisha ask her about Credo. Ah, yes, Credo Eiblinger. There was an, see, an orphan by that name. Though I wasn't at the orphanage myself, so I can't say whether he became a knight. The orphanage? Uh, where is the orphanage? I feel like we're going there next. It used to be on the outskirts of the city. It was... Oh, shoot. I pressed too early. But they tore it down... Oh... Years ago, so you won't find anything there. So who tore it down then? I see. Are there any people here who might have been there before that happened? Hmm, Father Ralph was the one who oversaw the orphanage at the time. Uh, where is Father Ralph now? Since the orphanage was closed, he resided here at the cathedral. Would you like to meet him? Yes. We wouldn't have asked if we didn't want to meet him. I will arrange for someone to escort you. This way, please. <laughs> I will bring Father Ralph. Please wait here. Thank you, Sister Mel. We'll wait. Thank you very much. So, Credo or Hawk is an orphan. <laughs> yeah, that. So, Credo was an orphan. We have more in common than I thought. Wait, you were... Oh, yeah, you're an orphan too. I wonder if you came from the same orphanage. What are the chances of that? Yes, I was. I don't even know what my parents look like. The Pendletons took me in when I was very young. Look at this painting, Adol. It's beautiful. That sister looks kind. She doesn't look like the same sister we met earlier. 
Huh. Pardon my intrusion. Hmm, I feel like that painting is a clue. I feel like that painting is important. Are you Father Ralph? No, you are. I am Ralph, father of the Hieroglyphs Church. A pleasure to meet you. You must be Credo's... Nice to meet you. Friends, in a manner of speaking. Ah, I am both relieved and surprised that Credo has friends now. Oh? Speaking of, how has he been re recently? Um, frenzied? <laughs> Crazy? Bloodthirsty? Reckless? I don't know. I don't know how he was before. We've not spoken since he joined the Knights. You and Krisha ask about Credo while dodging the topic of monstrums. I remember it uh, remember like it was yesterday. Do you see that painting there? Yeah, we were just talking about it. We were just talking about it. It, it was very beautiful. You can tell how much the artist cared about that sister. What if Credo was the one who painted that? Oh, frick. <laughs> Called it. I knew it. Oh my goodness. The artist was none other than Credo. Like, I've never played this game before, but it feels like some of the story beats are just so easy to follow to the point where you can actually guess, you know, where it's going. What? I was convinced it had to be... It had to have been a professional artist. The arts, academics, athletics... He was considered a prodigy in many fields when he was a young boy. Okay, so what happened? All it took was a few moments before he could master a skill. A, gift should, a gifted child indeed. I knew he wasn't a complete idiot. <laughs> His plan at the chapter house seemed reckless, but it was actually pretty smart. However... Despite being so gifted, he lacked one thing the other children all possessed. And what was that? The joy of accomplishment. A sense of growth and self-betterment. Is that the reason why he keeps challenging people who he think is strong? Is he looking for that joy of accomplishment? And that sense of growth and self-betterment? Is that it? Such talent can often drive someone into misery and desolate solitude. Credo was deeply admired as a hero by the other children at the orphanage. But when he, fi what, but when he felt how different he was, the distance between them only grew. I often found him alone, dispassionately reading books he has no interest in. There was but one sister he confided in enough to confess his thoughts to. Then she must be the one in the painting. Yes, her name was Sister Lisa. Did she die? Did she end up getting killed? Is that it? The scriptures say that working hard and improving is a reward in and of itself. It's also written that personal fulfillment is the meaning of life. Um, is that- Oh, so maybe that's why he felt so much misery because he didn't feel personal fulfillment. So he couldn't- He, di he didn't think that there was meaning in his life? If this is true, then that this then this that mean that my life has no see that was where it was going. Even the wisdom of an adult couldn't answer his profound question. Instead of simply telling him what he wanted to hear, Sister Lisa listened. That in its in itself helped bring stability to his life. If you don't mind me asking, where is Sister Lisa now dead, probably? She passed away. Oh no. There was a son of a noble family who fostered a deep contempt for Credo. Okay, maybe that's... Chatelard. The boy provoked Credo into a quarrel by making a mockery of the orphanage. Suffice to say, the boy did not emerge from the squabble uninjured. Days later, the orphanage was raided by unidentifiable bandits. Credo rushed to the scene, blade in hand, and struck one of them down. It was the first time he killed someone, but another bandit had, bandit had witnessed this. In retaliation, he in turn killed the one shielding the children, Sister Lisa. Oh my gosh. That's just horrible. It was discovered that the noble family were the ones who hired the bandits, of course. I believe Master Chatelard facilitated the trial in this incident. 
Okay, so what? Why does why does Credo or Hawk have an eye out for you know Shadowlord? He did. Yes, he seized the noble family's land and assets, then banished them. It was that very incident that spurred the Hieroglyph Knights into greater control. Credo then continued on his path of destruction, challenging, st challenging strangers to fights. Why? Did what happened sort of open, you know, if he is a berserker, did, it, did that sort of unlock that part of himself? And, you know, his bloodthirst? Is that it? So that's what happened. But why did he join the Hieroglyph Knights then? He simply had nowhere else to go. The Knights offered him a position, I believe, but I'm afraid I don't know the details. What's all this about? <laughs> I come back after all this time and this is my welcome? Ah, uh, he heard them. Grado? Is that you? He looks so different. Hey. You know? What's this old thing doing out here? He looks he looks so different from Hawk. <laughs> you painted that, didn't you, Kratos? We were just talking about how wonderful. What the frick? What was that for? <laughs> What is wrong with you, dude? Rado. What, old man? I wonder if Adol can smack some sense into Did him. Did you think I was just going to open up about my feelings if I saw that there? It wasn't that important to you. It was just something I scribbled when I had nothing better to do. Doubtful. More importantly, you let me know if you decide to go back into the prison. <laughs> Why do you- why would you say that out loud? Oh my god. What's- really, what's the point of a disguise? Or another persona for that matter, if you're just going to go and blurt out stuff like this out in the open? The, the prison? Next time, I'll beat Shadowlord. Oh my goodness, Hawk. Credo. However you want to be called. When this curse is gone, you and Aprilis are next. What? What did Haddle do? I respectfully no. decline. <laughs> Come on, quit holding out on me. Just one little duel. Well, that's all I came to say. You could have waited for us to go back to the dandelion. Catch you all later. What the frick? Oh my goodness. Uh, are you Kratos' friends? Are you gonna tell on us, Father? <laughs> I'm sorry to have caused you trouble. <laughs> no need. God only knows what he's gotten himself into. Please don't misconstrue my words when I say this, but I am relieved that he has friends like you too. So that's what he decides to focus on. Not that the fact that they're planning to go to the prison for some reason, or the fact that, you know, Credo just blurted out that he would challenge Shadowlord. But, you know, he's focusing on him having friends Kratos now. Kratos has been alone ever since Sister Lisa passed. I do hope you'll continue to look after him. So are you now technically a conspirator as well? <laughs> are you really just gonna let that go? Oh my goodness, what is up with these people? I sure learned a lot today. It sounds like Kratos wasn't such a violent person until the incident at the orphanage. I wonder if that has anything to do with his feud with Shadowlord. Yeah, but why though? Why would he be angry with Shadowlord? I can't say for sure. That's true. But I hope you'll feel comfortable with talking to us about it someday. Maybe if we raise his affection enough by giving him gifts. That's what friends are for, after all. Yep, friendship is magic! <laughs> Several hours prior. Alarm bells ring in the distance. We're back to the other adult. Oh my gosh, what is happening? 
What's going on? I don't know the details, but it sounds like Monstrums have broken into the prison. You know, I suddenly found myself wondering if, you know, Adol ends up changing places with someone when he transforms into the Crimson King. Like, maybe it's not really the Adol that we're controlling as the Crimson King, but maybe it's just someone who, I don't know, shares a part of the consciousness with Adol. I mean, what what we heard from Adol's journal at the start, it's it's basically telling us what this is all about, but I can't I still can't put two and two together as to why there is two or there are two adults, and one of them is trapped here. Wearing something identical ex except for the cloak. They're near the knights headquarters. They must have found a way in from underground. How did they get through all those monsters? They can fight. Just the other day, another guard, Heinz. What about Heinz? Yeah, I heard he lost his way underground. They still haven't found him. Heinz was the guard, I think, at the beginning in the prologue that was showing um, Adol around. But if they went through the headquarters, then their luck must have run dry. Master Shadowlard happens to be there right now. I don't think it'll come to it, but let's make sure we're ready for anything. Yeah, let's go. Seriously, what is up with this two adult adults thing? Something seems to be happening in the prison. You have the wire. This could be the perfect opportunity. You can't be stuck in a cell while adventure awaits. <laughs> oh yeah, your mind is still locked in on the adventure. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. You retrieved the wire you found earlier from under your pillow. Don't the guards check the cells? Like, how could they not have seen the wire? You pick the cell lock open with the wire. Now to scope the building out and assess the situation before the next patrol. Why are you showing me this again? It's like, you know, Lacrimosa of Donna, but instead of us controlling Donna in the past, we are controlling Adol from the same time that stuff is happening with... Oh, maybe he'll get a knife or something. A weapon. This must be one of the guardsmen's swords. It seems to have rusted, rusted considerably. Do you decide to take it just to be safe? Where are you gonna put it? Where are you even gonna hide that at all? Like, what the heck are you thinking? Oh my gosh. Why are you... Why is this game showing me the like the tutorials again? What the frick is going on? Graffiti. Only corpses manage to get out from here. Abandon all the hopes and dreams. Yeah, who know what's good for you? Don't you mean abandon all hope? All who goes here. You tried searching the shelves for anything of use. You found three raisins. You found a single sheet of paper mixed in with everything else. The inmate in question is under heavy suspicious of agitation, mental instability, and crimes of the highest order. I hereby request that both the words and actions of this inmate remain unheeded. Are they talking about Adol? What the heck is going on? Someone is coming right this way! You don't have enough time to hide! Well, well, what do we have here? A crafty little rat who's fled his cage. But unfortunately, your little prison escapade ends here. You've just won yourself a one-way ticket to solitary. Bet you can't wait, can ya? I was just getting some fresh air. Oh, just taking a walk, are you? Ha! As if you'll- as if that'll get you out of this. But you know, you're pretty calm for an inmate who just got busted. How amusing. 
Fine, I'll let you off easy this time. Go on, stroll whenever, wherever you... Please? What about your duties? A prisoner with a sense of responsibility? Now I've seen it all. Thanks, I needed a good laugh. Any normal guy would have clicked his heels and made a break for it by now. Of course, I'd have gladly just captured him there and increased his sentence. But you, you're not just any normal inmate. I like you, redhead, so tell you what, I really will let you off for now. We'll chat again next time we meet. I trust you'll be just as amusing then? What? You can sense the guard moving farther and farther away. It seems he really does intend to let you go. His words still leave you unsettled, but you need to hurry on ahead. What? I'm so lost and confused. Like, what? What is up with that guard? Is this... I feel like this really isn't a normal prison. Are you gonna jump out the window? Balduk cityscapes... Uh, cityscapes sprawls below. They must be holding you in some sort of prison tower. The glow of lights brightens the night sky. Is there a festival of some kind going it on? It's a pleasant surprise to see you here. A preposterous surprise, to be sure. Oh my god, go I'm hide. I'm aware of your encounter with the monstrums earlier. So what has you hurrying back to the prison so soon? Master Shadowlard of the Hieroglyph Knights? Despite how it may appear, I do have business here, interrogator. Or should I say... The paranormal investigator of the Roman Empire. What the frick is going on? Paranormal investigator? They have such a thing? Don't call me that, Chatelard. But if you are aware of my title, then you should be aware of the consequences of questioning my actions. That was not my intention. I was merely curious as to the reason why you acted without Belger's approval. About what? I do not require his nor your permission to do anything. But you will tell me this. Where is Adol Kristen? Oh my so god, what is going on? It makes sense now. Unfortunately, reports remain that he is still missing after his escape. My negligence is partly to blame for this oversight. Please, accept my apologies. Then... Are you telling me you weren't keep actually keeping Adol locked up just a couple of minutes ago? That this guy isn't Adol? What is going on? Or are you just, you I know, see. playing dumb? Very well. That's quite enough for today. Should you come across any leads regarding his whereabouts, notify me at once. Why are you searching for Adol? Despite my reluctance, it is my duty to see this mission through. Oh my god, what mission is this? You have my word. The mysteries really are just, you know, it just keeps piling up. It's nearly time for the rounds. You should return to your cell? You find your way back by retracing your steps. What? Why would you go back? Why would you go back at all? But oh my god. Chapter 3, The Feral Hawk's Fury. End. Oh my goodness, what a chapter that was. I feel like from this point on, every... Like, by the end of each chapter, we'll get to see more and more... Uh, sort of scenes of this prison adult or, or yeah prison adult that's what we're gonna call him I don't know what the official name for this adult being still being held in prison is but you gotta wonder why did he go back he could have escaped I like he could have he, I don't understand oh my goodness all right, first off, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. If you like the content of today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up to let me know and share this video to your friends, your family, and everyone you think would enjoy it. And if you haven't, please click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and become part of the Dreamer Tribe. And if you've already subscribed and you want to get notified whenever new videos come out, then just click on that bell icon and you'll get notifications whenever new videos are posted here on this channel and that's about it again 
hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and i'll see you all in the next video until then you guys know the drill dream on fly on bye bye now